sometimes when I sit down to draw, I tell myself, today I'm gonna come up with something brand new that I've never drawn before, with the aim of hopefully trying to create something that is gonna be a part of my style going forward, you know, and, and it feels like I'm creating new work and really like progressing my practice. Then I sit down and you know, I'm all excited to do it and I try and have like a really clean slate and then nothing happens and I draw blanks and then usually I just end up going back to the same old pool of things and drawing flowers or you know eyes or whatever and I'm I find it really frustrating and the times when I have been successful in being able to you know come up with these new ideas for my practice they tend to be times where I've either been in like a different location um, completely out of like my normal environment or normal drawing process kind of thing of whether it's like you know like sitting on my couch watching tv in my studio um, in those familiar spaces it's been when I've been on art residencies or like away on holiday or all these sorts of things where I can't control all the variables in my life so I wanted to try and do something today with this creative prompt where I am taking myself out of my comfort zone and really giving myself some odd um, prompts, essentially. Hopefully you can't hear these planes. For some reason, oh, I've got a flyover today. The Petersham flyover is obviously um, not happening today and they're all coming over my way. <laughs> So today what I'm going to be doing is drawing from a random word generator website uh, as my creative prompt. So I'm using a website that's called perchance.org. <laughs> um, I'll put it in my notes and I've added in that I wanted them to give me three randomized words and like yeah it all I'll do it, I'll show you live so you know that I haven't like preempted this and like given myself a chance to, I don't know, <laughs> plan it out <laughs> that I'm actually doing this live. By the end of this video, hopefully I will have some new ideas of maybe some bizarre cooked, probably very cooked ideas uh, of illustrations that I could maybe turn into something within my practice or explore more um, down the track. I've also connected up my iPad to my computer so you can watch me draw live. But before we get started, hey, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Jeff. I'm an artist, illustrator, and maker, and I've been working for them myself for the past seven years, creating projects like this. If you're a creative like me or creatively inclined, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post videos showing the behind the scenes of all the client projects that I'm working on, the tips and tricks that I learn along the way, and I also do videos that are sketchbook challenges like this. There's also my Instagram, so feel free to connect with me there and become a part of my family. I'll also put the time codes in the descriptions below if you wanna jump through the video at any point and see other sections. And with that, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna hit it and randomize. Laser pointer dolphin cellophane. Cool, okay. Um, dolphin. So obviously my first sketches, I'm not gonna use reference. I'm just gonna draw them so they're gonna be potentially bad. swordfish uh, laser pointer maybe okay dolphin pointing a laser pointer at cellophane is obviously the first thing Mm. 
What about a giant laser pointer? Draw the button. Um, and maybe the laser pointer shoots out a dolphin silhouette. Oh. Or something like that. I also might break the rules and just like not use one of them. Um, okay. I think that's more interesting. What if the idea of like torch lights? You know how when you're drawing torch lights and it's like this? I wanna I wanna do something like that. Maybe it's a dolphin that they see doing something. But he can't see it all. Okay, random thoughts. This is very Bojack Horseman. What if it was a dolphin humanoid thing? Give him some shoes, maybe some little short shorts. Oh, this is very Bojack. Oh, depressing Bojack. <laughs> um, but laser pointer, maybe, maybe I just do them in like some kind of a spotlight. No. Actually, I think I'm just going to draw a laser pointer on a shirt. Oh god. Um, and maybe there's a funny gimmick that's written around. Maybe we call him Mr. Cellophane. What's that movie? There's like a Broadway show. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, that one. Okay, I like this. Um, so let's redraw the dolphin. No, yeah. For some reason, I want it to be like a vintage tea. Um, okay, I'm just going to leave this one here and move on to the next. Okay, next one. Paint, brush, lace, sofa. Oh, sofa, 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 sofa. Um, paint, brush, lace, sofa. Paint, brush, lace, sofa. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw the items to start with. So, I mean, this goes back to my previous video. I'm drawing a similar shape to getting inspiration from furniture. So some kind of a couch. 
Birch, a nice little two-seater. Maybe some arm details. Okay, cute. Next, paintbrush. Classic Art Attack style. Lace. Um, I always think of, it's mainly just like mandala-y kind of shapes, I feel. Could be what could work. So some kind of circular pattern. Okay. What about a big old bit of like a rug going over the couch? I like the arm ones, like the resting your arm on the plastic kind of thing. Um, that could be a thing. What about... a bent banana paintbrush. With some kind of like mandala, I mean lace, lace. Some kind of lace, almost like seating on it, like a saddle. Um, let's give because it's then you're sitting on it like a couch, okay? <laughs> um, so maybe we turn this into like a creature. This is very video game. Okay, kind of like that. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, I can see a running theme already, which might be an issue. Let's get rid of that one and just keep one of each of them. All right, the next one. Roll of sticks, cellophane and watch, I'm not doing that again. A flashlight, no. Um, empty jar, baseball. Roll of gauze? No. Giraffe is too similar to this, so not doing that. Teapot, stop sign, acorn. Okay, teapot. Always go back straight to Beauty and the Beast. Oh my god, I'm surprised how much I'm drawing this from memory. Uh. 
Oh my god, this is like evil Mrs. Potts. <laughs> Ugh. What's the other one? Stop sign, acorn. Okay, the stop sign, I think it's more about the hexagonal shape that I like. Some kind of like tube or um, Some kind of base. Have a pole coming up from it. You know, referencing but not doing it exactly. And an acorn. Oh, how would you draw an acorn? I guess it's like. Oh, that's a little bit. Alec? Okay, how can I bring these three things together? Maybe... More of like a structure, like a, a building structure. Um, let's use the teapot as the base. So... Some kind of cool tunnel. grass or maybe they're acorns um, some steps going down Let's play off this handle for a, a second. So let's do some kind of like some kind of shape. Um, It's like so if you uh, uh, have like a pattern going off it, you know it does that. I don't like it at all. 
All right, not really success. Uh, next one. Glasses, shirt, pencil holder. Glasses, shirt, pencil holder. Okay. I'm gonna do aviators. Pencil holder. Like the pencil grips. And shirt. I mean, it's very like paper doll. I'm just thinking about, you know, accessories you put on something. Uh, so that could be a really interesting idea of creating some kind of like character. And then like making an outfit for them. So we could have like, kind of like that. Maybe I make a paper doll. Or maybe I make it so it's those little like pin arm and legs. So they kind of like move side to side. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I've done at least four versions, which I think is more than enough for now. Um, can't always be happy with what you make, but it is what it is. I think this version of like this fourth option of this paper doll kind of inspired look is what I'm vibing the most of. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. Maybe the second would be the dolphin outfit. So I'm gonna go away now, do a few little more refined sketches of each, sort of let the idea of the concepts percolate a little bit. I'll probably just do it as a nice little time-lapse video that you can watch. I might put some voiceover in, I'm not too sure yet. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll discuss what I'm gonna do with one of these. So yeah, all right, see you on the other side. Thank you. 
Hello again, I'm back. So you would have just seen, I did, I chose the dolphin in the end. There was just something about the character. I think just at the moment I'm enjoying drawing characters a lot more. And so I wanted to play around with that. My initial thoughts were to just um, flesh it out in terms of like the structure and the shape and the composition of the body and like the shaping of it all. But I definitely went... <laughs> further as you can see and I wanted to color it and um I got to this point and I I really like it um really cute dolphin um my initial plan once it started to come together and I was getting sort of the motivation and I could sort of see the character come to life I told myself that I was going to turn this one into a nice little gif or some kind of motion um, character. So that is why this time I actually drew all the layers of the body in different sections. That way, if I wanted to play around with, for instance, the arm and make it move and make it look as if they're like jumping their arms up, I really could, you know, it can play with that arm as well. Um, but, I kind of not sure I really care about it. That's kind of like bizarre, but <laughs> pretty fun. Yeah, I was gonna try and turn it into some kind of like motion and play around with that. But what I've decided to do is I'm gonna just put it in an environment and see where that takes me. I might even try and at the moment, the style is very cutesy, a little bit juvenile, and like feels much more in the kid youth arena, uh, even though it's got a bit of a Bojack Horseman feel to it. But what I want to do is maybe see if I can push it into a little bit more of a um, adult, um, more edgier, I guess, for lack of a better term, edgier kind of drawing so yeah so I've just put it middle of the page gonna do all this drawing on a new layer and just see what what comes of it so at the moment let's put the dolphin on top so then everything else is underneath I always like to start with a base because that grounds the character And I might actually just make it a little bit thinner. And let's put them in. A room. Or like on a stage. To some degree. Do some kind of like curved window. Feeling a little bit SeaWorld. I don't like that. Let's not. <laughs> don't you think? It feels like a little bit now it's in a tank. Um, yeah, no. Let's go in another way. In another way. Alright, let's go a little bit more absurd. Let's just put it in. Some water. And maybe it's talking to some other creatures. With his friends. Let's do like a little um, and now another fish, 
maybe, but let's do like a cool fish. I like the fish. Sunglasses definitely make them fun. Uh, let's just fill the page with other creatures. So maybe like a shell. so scared <laughs> um, let's just do another fish again what else is in the ocean Let's do a crab. Is it like a coach fish with a whistle? <laughs> like school of fish vibe. Okay, I'm going to go away and I'm gonna draw these characters and come up with like a series of characters and maybe they're all in like a team, like a sporting team or something like that. And we'll see w where that takes us. All right, I'm gonna go away drop these characters a little bit more in the same amount of detail as this dolphin. And then we'll just see where it goes from there. All right, see you soon.
Okay, we're back. As you would have just seen, I just went in hard <laughs> with the artwork. I was going to, um, I just decided to do all the coloring, give it to you all in one big chunk rather than break it up uh, and just like trim it in. I guess I'm still trying to work out what the best format and length it is for videos like this where I'm sharing the process and sort of what's the most interesting. So maybe even let me know in the comments if you like seeing that part of the process or if you want to see less of it or maybe some more like slowed down versions. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be just trialing all different approaches to showing the process for a little bit. I love to watch people draw and see it come together in like a time lapse, but you know, what I want might not be what everyone else wants. Yeah, so you would have seen that I would colored them all in and I think what I'll do now is show you the final concept. So here they are. I'll probably just put them maybe over the top of me. Uh, so these are all the characters. I've got them on my phone here so I can look at them. Um, uh, they're like, uh, uh, I love them. I really do. Uh, so what I really wanted to do was to make sure to keep the cohesion for the whole set of characters. I wanted to try and keep that idea as if they're on like the same club, team, school kind of thing. So they're all in like a uniform or like an outfit. And it brings a lot more cohesion to them as being like a group or like a group of friends or um, a potential storyline, I guess. I really like that they have kind of a hybrid Bojack Horseman, which is what I kind of said at the very beginning as well, especially with the dolphin. A little bit of like a Bojack Horseman meets like a kid's cartoon show kind of vibe. Uh, I think by putting legs on creatures that don't have legs is the, the crux of the Bojack Horseman referencing and also putting clothes on animals um, and like humanizing them. And from here, so what I want to do is turn them into a sticker sheet. So I've done this in the past for clients. So it's kind of like where you have like an A4 or like an A5 format um, group of stickers. I've done it twice and each time I've really enjoyed the process and they've been really successful for the clients as well. And I thought this was the perfect way to bring them all in rather than having all individual little stickers that you get. It's like having this nice like sheet where they're all on one really again brings them back into being a part of a world. So the next thing that I did was I put them on the A5 sheet and placed them on. And so I'm going to put that on here now and I'm in love. <laughs> uh, there's just something about it that has, it's just like brought it to life and moved it into like a whole new space. Um, I really wanted to keep the white offset outline around all the um, bodies because that way the creatures really pop off the backgrounds. I love that the water effect of the background is not directly a, a depiction of water but it's like a, a suggestion of it which I think is really great because it becomes secondary then I think if I put too much detail in it it would become too distracting so that's that's great I put in a little Sea World Friends because I wanted to give it a name I'm really pretty terrible at naming things and that sort of branding side of stuff I always struggle with making catchy funny names I usually will, will go to like a friend or two to help me name stuff um it's just like not my not my thing so I just didn't think about it too much and just put SeaWorld friends in there I think that helps to again create this idea of a narrative behind them who are these SeaWorld friends um what do they do what's this team they're a part of uh, making sure that I've got my logo my Instagram handle on it and also the disposal instructions or at least some kind of reference to that because I think that's really important when making products is giving your um, giving the customer the most information so they're able to dispose of everything properly and from here the concepts really could go in a number of different ways apart from this being just like a really simple mock-up that shows that I can create a sticker sheet 
for a client or for me to add to my online store to, for people to buy. There's the opportunity that this could really connect with clients that create children's books. So it could be like doing the illustrations for one of them. It could be for like an animated cartoon show. It could be character design in general for like toys or like gaming world, which is has always intrigued me, but never knew how I could slot into it. It could be for actual physical sculptures or like inflatables. Uh, there's just a lot of different ways you can go with it. I'll probably do none of them, but that's just me letting you know how far I really take ideas to I almost like plant the seeds of like, what could I be interested in exploring in the future? Yeah, and hopefully that's what these kinds of videos do is like inspire uh, or, or I guess show you the way that I think about my work in terms of being really efficient with my time and pushing ideas as far as they can because I think that's the best way to sort of grow really organically in your work is that when things lead on to other things rather than just starting afresh and having all the time and having these like chunks of projects that don't necessarily connect. But if you can sort of see the progress, the process and the progress of one thing leading into another, into another, into another, then it shows a really organic journey and your audience kind of like goes along with it as well, which is something that I've experienced in the past, which is something I might explore that I might show on a later video is I've got an example of where that has happened. Reflecting on it, I do like using the word generator system as like a prompt to try and come up with new ideas of subject matter. I think something that would help for the future is having more of a clear idea of what I want to create out of it. So for instance, Going into it, I might say, all right, I want to create some repeat patterns and everything that they generate and they throw at me, I'm going to turn into a repeat pattern. Or I'm going to start to create characters specifically for this thing and the words are going to impact the way the characters look. I think having a bit more of a reined in concept would help because it really is infinite ideas and I kind of struggled with it at the start and I wasn't really getting excited for things and it was, I kind of felt a little bit lost. So I think if I did it again, give myself a little bit more of a restraint in the content, in the concept and sort of focus in a little bit more and just have the generator being one part of the design brief. And with that, if you like this video, I'd uh, love you to let me know in the comments below. Like I said before, let me know what parts you're finding the most interesting out of these prompts. Uh, if there's things you don't like, also tell me uh, or anything else you'd like to see. Uh, if you're going along and doing the prompts as well, I'd love to know. Uh, feel free to send me pictures. Um, uh, Instagram is probably the best way to have that sort of dialogue with me and chat with me and show me pictures and things like that. Uh, subscribe if you like what you see. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Have fun, stay safe, love you all. Mwah.